Hey there, in this particular session, we are going to talk about a feature uh, which is called the pre-execution approval. Now, this is one of the latest features uh, introduced in the recent versions of Tosca. So you will not find this uh, in the earlier versions, but if you have installed uh, the Tosca 2024 and above version, then you should have this particular feature. Now, uh, what is pre-execution approval? Now, uh, we know that it is a uh, best practice to always review uh, the test cases before you actually merge it into your uh, main workspace, right? So uh, there are many teams who will be working uh, regularly uh, to build the test cases in Tosca, and they need to be reviewed before you include them into your uh, workspace, because uh, if you don't review um, or approve them, then um, there are chances that during execution, uh, you might face some problems, uh, due to some unnecessary changes in the test cases, uh, or it might be very difficult to track the changes which are happening in your test cases. So to avoid all this, Tosca provides you with an automated process, uh, which is called the pre-execution approval to request and grant approvals for your test cases. Now using this, you can validate your test cases before you run them. And then uh, it will also protect uh, your test cases from any unauthorized modifications. Now this will uh, speed up your review and governance process for your test cases, and they will become very easy to track for your uh, testing team. So let's understand the approval process. So uh, we already know about uh, the work state of a particular test case, and we know that there are three particular states for any test case which you are creating, right? So there is a planned state, there is the in-work state, and there is the completed state. Now you can manually change all these states, but if you want to use this approval process, then um, as you uh, either approve or you don't approve or withdraw, uh, this will change the status automatically. So whenever we enable the pre-execution approval, only Tosca can make these changes, which are state changes for your test cases. So what happens in this approval process is every new test case that's in progress uh, will have a state as planned. And then when a user requests approval for a particular test case, then Tosca changes the test case state to in work. And then uh, if the test cases are approved, then uh, the state is marked as completed. Uh, only users which are defined as approvers can approve or reject the test cases. So we'll see how this can be done in Tosca. Also, any rejected test cases will go back to the planned state. So testers can again uh, correct them and then request uh, for approval. So this particular table, it defines all the states uh, which users can or can't change uh, uh, with respect to the test cases or the connected objects. So for example, if your uh, test case is in planned state, so you can edit the module, you can edit the test case, you can edit the execution list, uh, you can do a trial run uh, in your scratchbook, but uh, your execution list cannot be executed. So uh, the approval tasks uh, which are available is to request an approval. Similarly for in-work state uh, test cases, you can edit the module, but you cannot edit the test case. You can edit the execution list. You can do a trial run, but you cannot execute the execution list. Again, the approval tasks which are available, withdraw or approve the request. Then uh, the completed state. So you are allowed to edit the module. Uh, you cannot edit test case. You are allowed to edit the execution list uh, or run it in Scratchbook. And you are allowed to uh, execute the execution list. Uh, now, if uh, the state is completed, then the approval task, which is available, is revise approval. Also, uh, one thing to note uh, on the conditions for execute execution list. As you can see, uh, as long as the execution list has one test case, uh, which is not approved, then uh, it is blocked. And uh, if it is allowed, then only if all the test cases in the execution list are approved. So uh, do take care of this uh, when you're trying to execute an execution list which contains uh, test cases uh, which require approval or are already approved. 
So this is uh, the overall uh, approval process, uh, which is available in Tosca. Now uh, let's uh, see how we can enable this pre-execution approval in Tosca, and then um, how we can request an approval and how a approver can approve um, the requested uh, test cases, which needs to be approved. Uh, and all of this will be done through an automatic process uh, by Tosca. So now uh, let's look at how we can enable pre-execution approval. But before that, uh, we need to prepare our Tosca environment. Now, uh, the first few requirements, uh, obviously you have to have Tosca in your machine. You have to have a multi-user workspace or environment. And uh, if you want to handle requests or approvals via REST API, then you need to also install Tosca server. Now this, if you want to enable pre-execution only on the Tosca version, there is another option which is uh, related to queue test. So you can also enable uh, pre-execution approval from your queue test environment. But uh, I'm not going to cover that in this particular session. So we are going to focus uh, on enabling pre-execution approval for the Tosca environment. Now, uh, to enable this, uh, first, we need to modify our Tosca configuration. Now, uh, this uh, we need to do in the Tosca commander.dll.config file. Now, as you can see, I've already opened this file here. And this you can find in your uh, Tosca commander folder where you have uh, installed it. It could be in the C drive or the D drive, wherever you have chosen the location. And in your Tosca commander folder, you will find this particular file. So go ahead and uh, open this file. And then uh, we need to go into uh, the configuration, config sections. And then we need to go into this section group, uh, which is for the application settings. And there we need to add this particular line Okay, so which is for uh, the execution approval add-in. Uh, property settings, we have to add the type uh, and the require permissions. Okay, so uh, this line, we have to add it here, uh, which is highlighted in yellow. And then going down, uh, we need to also add uh, under the application settings. So we have to add uh, the execution approval uh, add-in setting name and value. So these two settings we need to edit and then save it in this particular file, right? So once you uh, do this uh, and close the file, then uh, you restart your Tosca and then uh, your environment would be ready uh, to enable the pre-execution approval. So now uh, we can go ahead and open Tosca and uh, we have to use a multi-user workspace. And there uh, we will see how we can create a group of uh, approved users who can uh, basically approve your test cases. And then we can request the approval and then uh, approved user can uh, review and approve the test case. So let's see how we can do that. So I'm already in a multi-user workspace in my Tosca, as you can see. And now uh, I need to go into the root project and check this out so that I can make changes to the user management because I need to create a user group here, okay? So I'm going to create a new user group uh, which will act as the approvers for this multi-user project. So we'll create a group here and uh, we'll call this the approvers group. Okay, uh, inside this, uh, we can add any number of users who you want to make them approver. So um, I'm going to call this AV1, okay, uh, or AV2. And then I want to set the password here. And uh, we can also give it a description called approver group. Okay, uh, and this group can only be created if you are an admin user uh, and you have checked out the project. And once you do that, now uh, we can go ahead and check in um, all these changes. So this group is now created. 
So now uh, we have to go ahead and activate the pre-execution approval for this particular project. So for that, you can right click on the project and then uh, the last option you can see here, enable execution approval. So uh, we can uh, select this and you can see the message here on the taskbar. Uh, enable execution um, is now uh, activated for this particular project, right? So uh, we can create a user group, uh, we can manage the approvers, we can add and remove users from the approved user group, and then we can enable or even disable uh, this pre-execution approval, right? So if you want to disable it, again, right-click and click on the disable execution approval. All of this can only be done uh, via an admin user for this particular project or workspace, right? So now uh, we are ready uh, to basically uh, request approval for any particular test case. So what we can do, uh, we could uh, go ahead and log in with a normal user, uh, basically a tester who is creating the test case, uh, but we'll just continue with this particular user. So we'll go into any particular test case here. Um, so let's take this particular test case. You can see the work state is currently completed here. So so what we can do is we can right click here and here you will see uh, the only option which is available is to revise the approval. Now, when you revise the approval, uh, it basically uh, withdraws the approval uh, or basically reverts the approval process. So this now again needs to go back um, to um, the planned state and from there again, you need to request approval, right? So uh, if I click on this, you will see the work state here has changed to planned. You can see it in the properties as well. So this is the test case work state, right? And it has changed to planned from completed. So that's the approval process. I suppose it was done automatically by Tosca. So now uh, it has gone into a planned state. Now I can go ahead and check in my changes here, okay? Now let's look at another test case, which is currently in the planned state, right? Which means it is under development. And now if you want to request an approval for this, so what I can do is right click on this particular test case and uh, I can select request approval. So now here it will ask me the user group uh, which you want to select for approval. Now there could be multiple user groups who could approve a particular test case, right? So Based on that, you need to uh, basically uh, edit this and you need to enter uh, which group you want to select. So I'm going to select uh, our approvers group. Obviously, if you enter um, a invalid group, it will give a message that uh, it's not correct, okay? So the user group you enter doesn't exist. So you need to check the name and re-enter again. So let's go ahead and do this another time. So now uh, it has been requested, as you can see, and the work state has now changed from planned to in work, right? So here you can see uh, it was changed automatically by Tosca, and now I can go ahead and check in all. So now you can see uh, there are two test cases here. So let's also go ahead and request approval for this particular test case. Again, I will say approvers, okay? And do this and check in all. So this is how you can request uh, an approval for a particular test case which has been developed already or you have made some changes and you want it to be reviewed and approved, right? Now, uh, we'll close this uh, workspace, okay? And we'll log in uh, with uh, another user who is the approver, right? So we'll go into the same project. And instead of admin, I'm going to enter the user who is an approver and login. So now I'm entering uh, into the workspace as an approved user or a user who can approve test cases because he's part of a group, right? So let's go ahead and go into the main project and here 
uh, if I already know the test case, then I can directly go into the test case and I can view the state of this particular uh, work state of this particular test case. And then I can make out that this is pending approval, right? I can also uh, formulate a TQL query to find out all the test cases which are pending approval based on the work state, right? So once you do that, now uh, if I right click on this, I will have uh, basically three different options in the approval process, right? So uh, I can either complete the approval, uh, if I can withdraw the approval request or I can reject the approval, right? So based on these three different options, uh, the work state will change. Uh, again, it will go through the approval process. So let's try uh, to complete the approval for this particular one, okay? Again, uh, we need to provide the user group, okay? And I will tell you why. So uh, we need to provide the user group because this particular group will only own these test cases. So nobody else can basically change the state of this particular test case, which has already been approved, okay? So uh, it will remain with the group of users who have approved this and uh, they can later on uh, again merge it back to the main workspace, okay? Or they can change the state of this particular test case because this has been completed. So it will remain with this group of users. Uh, again, for the other one, uh, what we can do is we can withdraw the approval request or we can even reject the approval request, right? So when uh, we withdraw approval request, then um, it will update the status or if we reject it, it will go back to the planned state, right? So let's go ahead and reject this approval. So it has gone back to the planned state. Now uh, the person who worked on this test case, he needs to make uh, some changes and then again, he can submit it back for a review, okay? So once you do these changes, uh, you can check in all and then um, those changes will be checked in and then you can go back to the uh, other user who has requested the approved approval and you can see uh, that whether the test cases were approved or whether they were rejected. Now that's all based on this work state. Okay, so this keeps on changing. It cannot be manually edited uh, by any user. It is done by Tosca because the pre-execution approval is enabled for this project. If you want to change it manually, you have to disable the pre-execution approval. So this is all about the pre-execution approval process, um, how it is automatically done by Tosca and uh, how you can manage this uh, within the Tosca environment, how you can enable it and how you can request and you can perform actions on those approval requests. So it is also one of the best practices uh, where uh, we had seen earlier how we used to create different folders where we will keep uh, test cases which are uh, pending for review or which are approved. Now this is basically important because we want to manage all the changes which are going into our workspace, right? We don't want uh, changes which are unnecessary and which are not approved, right? This That will only increase your maintenance work. So using this automatic process, now we can easily manage our test cases. We can review them, we can approve them, and uh, we can have a strong hold on what test cases are getting checked in to the main workspace and uh, whether they are being reviewed properly or not.